All right, all my fellow YouTubers, uh, if you guys watched my last video, you'll know I said I was about to uh, have another one to show off. And what it is is a sort of completion of the Rust Bucket group build hosted by Mars at Mars Garage. Uh, thank you, Marcelo, for putting this on. I have had a ton of fun uh, destroying this 1970 Impala. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out Marcelo, I'm sure anybody watching me has, but um, go check him out. Um, he's got a great channel and does awesome work. So here is, I say sort of complete because I, I am wanting to still put this on some sort of base. Um, so my thinking is, um, I got the flat tire over here, um, and this is going to sit like it's sort of got, um, you know, this tire that's that's sort of holding it up a little bit over here on this corner, uh, something like that, um, on the rim. Um, maybe I'll put a cinder block on the other side. I don't know, but I want to do a scene. Um, I have forgotten the hood inside, but the hood will just be sort of laying off the front, or maybe I'll set it on the roof or the uh, deck lid. I don't know, so... The car itself is done other than when I get it set on the base, I am going to dirty up the wheels. I just don't know how it's going to sit yet, so I haven't really messed with the back wheels. Uh, this one, I flat spotted it so it will look like it's sort of sunk in a little. Um, so, yeah, this is the car. Bring you down again, just like I did with the... Uh, Aston. Um, I used a lot of craft paints. I used some AK weathering um, washes and um, things like that. Um, just some different things. I dremeled down, put some holes in it around the uh, fender there at the bottom here on the deck lid. I did have a good idea from a friend of mine who said I should drill a hole in the center like the um, like the trunk latch has been punched out. Um, and then I heated the bumper up and bent it here on the rear so it uh, intentionally does not, oops, run into stuff, does not fit right and looks kind of crinkled up. And um, I should have put, uh, actually Bruce from Bruce's Eclectic World uh, actually mentioned something to me about it, but I should have put something behind this because as you can see, it's transparent. However, you can see right through it to my finger there. However, when it's sitting on its base, I don't think anybody's gonna be peering through the back of the car. Um, just did some silver pin for the trim because I didn't want it to be super bright chrome. And then for the chrome, if you can see, I sort of uh, swept a brush at it with some rust because I want it to be sort of like that surface rust that chrome gets before it starts pitting real bad. And then um, I just sort of go from there. But uh, man, this was just a lot of fun. And then the engine, there's a little piece of uh, Tissue paper there that I painted darkly. It was like a greasy rag that they stuffed in the uh, intake manifold. I removed the distributor cap. Um, like they stole that for another project. I removed the alternator. That's actually floating around on the car. There is the air cleaner in the back seat. We got the ripped seat over on the... Well, it's wanting to focus. There we go. Just... Debris, a ripped up seat, uh, dirt, there's a a wheel with no tire over there and the back seat on the other side. We got a battery in here. Um, just general dirt and debris and then the extremely rusty underneath side. Um, and we had a pretty bad oil leak there at the oil pan just from sitting on the ground. Um, the, the kingpins, they broke entirely trying to get them off. And I thought about 
because this thing was sort of a glue bomb. I thought about trying to pin them and uh, stick them back together, but then I thought, well, it doesn't need to have the front wheels on it anyway, so it just looks like the A-arm and the spring, and um, that's fine, whatever. Uh, the front, I sort of did the same thing, uh, speckled some dirt and um, rust at it. Uh, we got a headlight missing in the front. Uh, somebody's robbed that or broken it for, for parts. Uh, broke the windshield, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned that. And then cracked the, uh, the back glass as well. <clears throat> Here's another look at that interior uh it's just it's just general dirt and wear from uh sitting with you know maybe there's some critters I've gotten in there I actually think the only thing that I might want to add is um some debris down in the cracks and crevices of the under the hood spots maybe in the valley of the intake manifold there because if you've ever seen an abandoned car you, you know you'll have a lot of that. It seems to accumulate uh, in the engine bay, uh, in the cracks and crevices. So yeah, so that's that's the car. That's basically done. Like I said, once I get it set up and it's seen, it's going to sit something like this. And then, um, I don't know, I might put a block of wood or cinder block or something. I'll have to look around. Uh, maybe I can carve a cinder block out of a piece of foam or, or build one out of uh, plastic or something. But I thought that would be fun to have it sitting on one side and then um, and then I'll finish dirtying up the wheels or the tires rather. Um, yeah, thank you Mars for uh, hosting this. Uh, it was a ton of fun and I will keep tinkering on the on the base. I'll show you uh, real quick. I might have to uh... yeah, so I uh, this is just a piece of foam I um, well, hold on, guys. Ooh, I about dropped the whole thing. Sorry about that. Anyways, so, piece of foam. Um, I just glued down some cut up pieces of uh, sandpaper and I'm gonna paint it and weather it. This is um, an AK product. Um, I pressed the wheel in, so the car is going to be sitting roughly here, um, on the, on the wheel. And then that's one of the back tire marks there. And then I'll, I'll build up around it. I want to get some, I think some real dirt as well. And, um, and some grass. Uh, but I think I can tie this in with my, I was kind of thinking I'm going to tie it in with, so it'll, it'll sit basically like this. And I think it's going to be the, um, I have one of those gas stations, the service stations. And I think if this was in the back corner, you know, I got some cracked up asphalt, like the back corner of the service station off to the side, they got this abandoned Impala. I think that would be pretty cool. And, um, so that's where my head's at with this. And, uh, but that's, you know, that, that's a bigger project down the road for this. I just want to get this painted and weathered, maybe get some grass and some shrubbery in here and then go from there. Um, so I believe that's all. Um, thanks again to everybody in this community, which I love. Um, everybody is so great. Um, thank you to everybody that puts on these group builds. Everybody always comes up with some great stuff and it's so enjoyable to watch. And um, yeah, if you guys need a shop card from me, my email will be in the description. Um, anybody I mention um, will be also in the description. So uh, thanks, guys. I hope you guys all have a great week. I'll catch you again soon.